Uh, I'm Colin Levy. Happy World Blender Day, Blender World Day. Uh, happy blendering. Um, I'm here working at the, the Blender Institute in Amsterdam and uh, working on Agent 327 by day and Skywatch, uh, my independent sci-fi short um, by night. Uh, so knee deep in Blender right now in two projects. Um, we just wrapped up our successful Kickstarter campaign and I was uh, very, felt a lot of support uh, from the Blender community. So if you're watching this and you pledged or shared the project, thank you very much. We are uh, in post-production and we're looking forward to finishing the film. Um, uh, as we've sort of said online, we're doing a lot of the visual effects in Blender. Um, and I wanted to share an anecdote from, from that project. Uh, a sort of a dramatic uh, decision that had to be made um, about our strategy um, in, in production uh, this past year. So essentially a couple of years ago, to give you the context, we shot uh, principal photography. So it's a big deal, big production, get our actors and a crew together, uh, you know, paying for locations, renting equipment. You know, there's 30 people on set and we have to feed them and it's like multiple days and that's an expensive endeavor. Very stressful experience. So we shoot it and it goes well. And uh, the next year, you know, in my free time, I spend editing the film and uh, discover that I uh, didn't get everything that I needed. So we had an issue, which is I need to get back onto uh, one of our locations, which is the rooftop location. Just to show you what that looks like, uh, you know, it's just a rooftop. Here's some photos from that location. This is in San Francisco. Um, and we literally, to find this location, we just went on Google Earth or Google Maps, you know, the satellite view, and we we're just scouting locations. And we approached the building and uh, ended up, uh, you know, getting uh, their approval to shoot a scene up here, but uh, cost some money. So I just needed a handful of shots, you know, um, but the location was gonna uh, cost money. Our actors were in LA. You know, our equipment, as soon as you start adding it all up, it's like, geez, how important are these shots really? So I was strategizing with my producer um, and basically I, I cut my ideal versions of the shots into an edit. Um, and so just to give you an example of what that looks like, I actually, I filled the gaps of what I didn't have with some previs. So um, I know I'm not giving you much context, but uh, anyway, this is a, a shot that I created in Blender that sort of gave my team an idea of what I wanted to achieve. Um, so, you know, it's just previs. And um, later on, as I was massaging the scene, um, I added this foreground element to connect to the action around it. Again, I know it's sort of an isolated shot. Um, and I thought it would be super cool to, to figure out how to get this thing. Um, but obviously there's a lot of moving parts. So um, do you think it might be possible to recreate this environment in CG and save a lot of money? So um, that was the question. Here was a list of shots that we wanted to get, you know, on the rooftop. And um, so I had to convince myself and my team that it was going to be possible to actually achieve them all uh, without get physically getting back on the rooftop. However, we didn't have um, we didn't have the photography we needed. So I waited for a, a day where it was overcast, even lighting, and I just sort of knocked on the door of the building again and explained that we might be interested in coming back and uh, maybe uh, could I get on the rooftop just to shoot some stills for reference? And so I was fortunately able to get back to shoot some stills for free. And just some examples. You know, this is just, I was taking some measurements and um, just shot the heck out of it. Uh, it's just, you know, I guess there's 880 photos. And, um, and then I did some tests. So, um, I actually searched for 45 minutes for the blend file and I, I cannot find the, basically I, I ran all the photos through Memento, Autodesk's Memento, and um, 
that helped kind of reconstruct a basically I got a point cloud out of it. It, it wasn't a good uh, photo scan, um, but it it gave me a starting point to model um, the uh, the the section of the rooftop that was interesting to me. So this is basically what that looks like, and um, you know it's pretty much to scale. This is sort of accurate in terms of the measurements. Um, and then I tried to project some photography onto it. So just wanted to show you the little test, 3D test, that proved to me that maybe we could pull it off. So this is um, just reprojected photos that was then the lighting sort of matched the mood, the, the color temperature and the time of day of, of the rest of the photography. And uh, I was like, okay, I bet we can do this. Um, the complicated thing becomes uh, the green screen element. So yeah, that, that was a big decision to make. Do we go through the pain of bringing everyone back onto the rooftop or can we approximate this shot in, on a green screen? So we ended up shooting a plate on a green screen stage in LA rather than bringing everyone to San Francisco. Uh, which allowed us to uh, focus on um, the camera move and to sort of be a little more precise about what we wanted to get. And as you can see, here's, here's a plate that we shot on the green screen stage. And as you can see, we actually recreated this. We had a sort of production design guy build a, uh, an exact one-to-one -one copy of the uh, staircase that was metal and um, spray painted it green and I have no idea if this is gonna work because we haven't actually done the work yet. <laughs> but it looks pretty convincing. It looks uh, like it would match. And so here is the plate. If I can just hit play. And of course, I don't really have uh, the after yet because we haven't done it. But the idea is to achieve, here's a, here's a really rough, rough slap comp. Oh, well, it doesn't have the environment. So it just has the foreground element. This is what I cut into the edit afterwards. But essentially, doing that uh, projection test in Blender helped prove to me that it was gonna be possible, cheaper, and maybe not easier, but uh, a better decision overall to uh, try to reconstruct the environments for the shots that we hadn't, that we needed, but didn't you know, yet have. Um, and so that is where we are with that, and um, I'm looking forward to putting the shot together. Hopefully when you watch it in context, you don't even realize that it's not uh, done for real. Okay, well, uh, not a huge amount of blender there, but I hope that was interesting. Thanks for watching.